Hi, thanks for joining me today. This is my daily driver, the 2003 Ford Ranger. And it's got a couple of issues that have been getting on my nerves. I'm gonna take care of a couple of those things today. First of all, I need to replace the parking brake cables in the rear and they're binding and I'll show you why. In the front, I've got some uneven tire wear and I picked up a little shake. So it's time to handle those upper ball joints. Let's get these wheels off and get started. So this right here is the main culprit in the binding situation. This spot on this parking brake cable is completely split, rusted, full of rocks, swollen. And I'm pretty sure that's where most of the binding is happening. So anytime I'd hit the parking brake, the rear drum brakes wouldn't release afterwards. And this one was getting pretty hot. Like mo most drum brakes, these are equipped with ratcheting self adjusters down here in the bottom and there's a window on the back so that ratchet pushes this side of that adjusting wheel upwards to tighten it so when we go to the other side we want that side to go upwards effectively turning that wheel clockwise if we're looking at towards the front of the vehicle so that rubber plug right there is where you get to the adjuster Pop that out of the way. And you kind of have to feel around for it. It should be pretty well centered. There's the spot. All right, I found this the spot here. If you go just to the rear of the adjusting wheel, you push, you feel a little spring. That's that ratcheting adjusting arm. So if you give it a little push out of the way, turning that wheel is way easier. And then you also don't damage the little adjusting arm. Now we're cruising. That was that spot I was looking for. See it starts biting up again, you just go back to that spot, give it a little push, then you can turn freely again. Now, let's go ahead and see if, we, it feels pretty loose. Let's go ahead and see if we can get that off. Yep, comes right off. Awesome. So this is that arm that we were pushing out of the way so we could turn this adjuster. We'll just keep go ahead and loosen that up. All the way. Now we can go ahead and start taking the rest of it apart. You might notice all the contact points and sliding points in here are nice and lubricated. It's because I was already in here when I was diagnosing the problem and I just put everything back together with fresh lube and brushed up all the sliding points. So I like to start down here at the bottom, we'll undo the adjuster, then the spring above it, then the pins and then we'll undo these springs and kind of whole thing just comes off. So let's get started on that down here at the bottom. We'll undo that spring. 
then the self adjuster mechanism comes right off that pin and I've got a couple paper towels down here that I like to lay my parts out on I should be able to remove the adjuster mechanism spring above it. Can't remember which side of that spring I did first. Maybe it was this one. And that's why you undo the the right side first, or front of vehicle in this case, because you won't get that one out that way. You have to lift and pull this one out. Next, the pins. I'm going to show you my method for doing this, which involves my angled nose, long reach pliers, and the straight tip ones. So what I do is grab hold of that center and then use the angled nose ones to push on the spring while you turn the center. And that's like two seconds from popping off of there. There we go. Spring comes off, pin comes out. I'm sure they make some fancy tool for that, but that's how I've always gotten them out. And now, up here at the top, starting with the left hand side or rear, because that spring is on the outside. So, go ahead and fight that guy off there. This shoe is the one that's attached to the parking brake lever. So we're going to let it kind of hang for a second. Pull this bar out. Put the spring back on the front end of it. And really that's as far as I need to go with taking these apart because that the end of that lever is what we were trying to get to. Get the parking brake cable out. So now we're going to move over to the other side of the vehicle get the parking brake cable out of that end see if that frees it up enough to get it out of this end all right well that was a bit of a pain in retrospect i maybe could have just cut it but what i did was pull all this slack towards the rear and secured it up there with a pair of vice grips gently and then on this end a little bit of prying right here just to get the cable end loose and then i used a pair of pliers between that cable end and this cable end to push it up and it finally popped right out of there. So now I'll head back to the other side and see if I can get that cable end out of that lever. All right, let's see if anything happens if I just grab this end and give it a good pull or two. Yep, that gave me enough to get it out. Let's see how hard it is to get it out from back here. Should just come right out. Oh, there's some clips there.
That's pretty toast. Clips back here. It's not really in those clips. I guess it's just one clip. We need to get it down and out of there. Now just one more spot to get it out of the other side. So we got this clip and you can see where it has destroyed the left rear parking brake cable. And we also have a couple of plastic clips to get it out of as well. She is. So there's the old one next to the new one. And that it's just completely bound up. It don't move at all. This one as you can see moves perfectly. And it has all the extra rubber bits in the right spot. Nice quality cable. But before we put that one in, we're going to get the other side out. And I'm going to skip through the boring part. So I got the driver's side cable out. It's pretty easy to see where these went bad. The inner insulation is just flaking off and the cable's rusting. The spot where it was rubbing up against that clip, it doesn't move at all either. So I got that cable in where this one attaches swapped over to the new cable let's go ahead and get the passenger side cable in first because it's the longest one and go from there all right let's go ahead and feed the long side through Get it attached on the other side and then we'll get it into all these clips. Well, that was easier than getting the old one out. Just like that. Now I'll go ahead and reattach that lever. And get these brakes put back together.
There we go. Now all that's left is this bottom spring and the adjuster. Adjuster. Now the auto adjust mechanism. That's that, and then we just adjust it back out until they drag a little bit. And be good to go. Alright, new passenger side cable is in. Now it's time for the driver's side. All right, so I went ahead and uh, put the wheels back on and adjusted the brakes. I put the wheels back on when I do that because it holds the drum to the hub, so you know it's staying centered, and then it's easier to spin it from underneath the vehicle. So these have been adjusted. I'm gonna go ahead and um, set it back on the ground and torque the lug nuts down, and that's it for this one. And I've decided to split this up into two different videos because It'll be shorter and less boring that way, I think. And it'll be also easier for people to find either part when they might need be looking for guidance or help. So that's gonna do it for this one. Thanks for joining me and I'll catch you next time.